I always, I would, I would be thinking about you right now. One thing about cocaine, going on cocaine, and I hear you mentioned it, one thing that popped out to me and is used in like the, I guess it would be like the early 20th century, is that I did not know that cocaine was once put in Coca-Cola. That yeah. was something that I actually learned. So <laughs> talk to us about that. Like how, like how does it even come about and how is this even acceptable in, in society for a drug to be put into a drink like this? Well, because cocaine was new, and people didn't have any experience with it. Mm -hmm. And there was no regulation. We we're, we're used to the government cracking down and you know, we have labels on our cereal that tells us how much sugar there is and carbohydrates, that sort of thing. In the 19th century, there's nothing like that. And so you had all sorts of people selling all kinds of drugs and you find these elixirs and tonics, nerve tonics, people go out selling and there's no regulation. And they're putting things like morphine and cocaine into a lot of these different kinds of drugs that they're selling. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, there was, there was, uh, Coca-Cola wasn't even the first. There was like Vin, Vin, it was Vin Martini. There's a European drink where they used, they, they'd soak the coca leaves into the wine and then sell it. And this was a thing already in Europe. And so the, the guys who ran Coca-Cola, uh, the, uh, the original druggist with his little drugstore in Atlanta, he was copying this idea. So it was cola, it was cola nuts and coca leaves that were put into Coca-Cola along with other things like nutmeg, I guess. And this is what gave it the taste, but also gave it the kick. And so this is, this was, uh, yeah, this was, this is what made Coca-Cola great. And once the backlash grew against cocaine in the early 20th century, then they took it out, but they put in more caffeine and sugar to make up for the kick that was, that was missing. Yeah. But yeah, all this stuff was unregulated. Like this is it's, a whole different time. Crazy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> the 20th century is when you have really the growth of the American government that improves into our lives and tells us, you know, what you can and cannot do and what, what, you, what people can and cannot sell. Mm -hmm. Right. And so this is why you, you can never do that today. Like, unless something was brand new. If there's some brand new drug that somebody comes up with and so, or some drug that we don't know much about, like uh, this used somewhere else like cat or uh, kava, if we, that became all of a sudden popular in the United States, it wouldn't necessarily be regulated at first. Although now it would be regulated much more quickly than, than cocaine was yeah. 100 years ago. Yeah. You know, we have government agencies now in place because of that and right. to solve and pick up on these things more quickly.